Yeah, this will be a quick one. Hey, go check out the website and let me know what you think. There's some new tools on the front page that we are still working on. One of them, for example, is this CRISPR simulation lab that needs more work, but basically you can uh, uh, place your target sequence, um, define the gRNA and uh, the edit sequence, and it will actually modify. It will have the original sequence, as you have here, and the edited one, where essentially I call the A's are replaced with uh, T's in this case. And then we have A G replaced with uh, T A. Yeah, so editing your sequence. Uh, what else we've got? Actually, change. So there's currently no uh, ads. I mean, there's no uh, overlay overlay ads. So enjoy that. There are, however, ads within the text. Uh, what did we have? Yeah, optical illusions. Yeah, so the idea is, yeah, we want everything interesting to be shown on the, you know, the first uh, page. Um, then there will be ads within text. Yeah, this uh, optical illusion is actually generated uh, using uh, Python. And there is a Python code below every uh, optical illusion example. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Uh, this one actually, when you run, uh, uh, this one actually, when you run the Python code, you can actually move this uh, line left and right to actually see. Well, because people don't believe that these two lines in a Ponzo illusion uh, actually have the same length. So in this uh, tool, you could uh, use the slider to move it around and see this, that it's actually the same length. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. And yes, yeah, so we'll, the ads will be in the text uh, alone, hopefully. So I have to actually fix the ad the placement. I have the knowledge uh, crop generator, so you can read your papers this way. Yes, yeah, so this is ideal where there's no ads on the first page when you load it. You can uh, copy paste your text in here. It will generate a, a knowledge graph for you that you can move around and uh, review. Uh, this will require more uh, uh, work. This one, so for example, the tool that we are working on at the moment. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. We have a lot of replication. Um, don't know why it works with some text but not uh, other. I uh, have to actually check uh, what's going on. If you change this to say ECG, what will happen? It made a uh, now correlation uh, between ECG and EG, but uh, yeah, we have ECG mentioned 17 times. Uh, how about fuzzy logic? Why? Why fuzzy logic is not being mentioned? So there will be some sort of pre-processing that will be required. Yeah, I'm not sure about fuzzy. Fuzzy mentioned uh, 18 times, so I don't know exactly what's going on. We'll have to check the code. I'll just pop the code at the bottom of the page as well for you to play around with yourself. But what we were doing yesterday, yeah, this fuzzy logic waveform detector, the idea for this was uh, that you will be able to scroll through EG signal. It will um, give you an artifact risk score. And currently, well, in theory, it should work if this first chart allowed us to actually scroll through the data. So we have to fix that. 
we have all the prompts which by the way we are more than happy to place uh, on uh, the page it's actually uh, okay let's see so let's read this uh, to see what the application is all about and we will continue from there to development or shall i say re redevelopment fuzzy logic algorithm for eeg data analysis overview of fuzzy logic fuzzy logic is a form of many valued logic that deals with reasoning that is approximate rather than fixed and exact in fuzzy logic truth values can range between zero and one representing the degree of truth this approach is particularly useful for handling uncertain or imprecise information application to eeg data one defining signal characteristics first we define variables to represent different characteristics of the EEG signal, such as amplitude, frequency, noise level, and signal stability. Each characteristic is associated with a fuzzy set, which includes membership functions to represent different degrees of that characteristic, e.g. low, medium, high. 2. Membership functions. Membership functions are mathematical curves that define how each point in the input space is mapped to a membership value between 0 and 1. For example, an amplitude characteristic might have membership functions for low, medium, and high amplitude. These functions allow the algorithm to assess the degree to which a particular signal belongs to each category. MAS 3. Fuzzy rules. Fuzzy rules are if-then statements that describe the logic of the system. For EEG data, these rules might be structured as follows. If the amplitude is high and the frequency is low, then the signal quality is poor. If the noise level is low and the signal stability is high, then the signal quality is good. Each rule combines different characteristics and their degrees to infer the overall quality of the signal. 4. Fuzzy Inference System The Fuzzy Inference System, FIS, processes the input data, EEG signal characteristics, through the fuzzy rules to generate an output. This involves fuzzification, converting the input values into degrees of membership, rule evaluation, applying the fuzzy rules to the fuzzified inputs to generate fuzzy outputs. Aggregation, combining the fuzzy outputs from all rules. Defuzzification, converting the aggregated fuzzy output back into a crisp value that represents the final assessment, such as the overall signal quality. 5. Implementation. Fuzzification. The EEG data is pre-processed to extract characteristics like amplitude and frequency. These characteristics are then fuzzified using the defined membership functions, rule evaluation and aggregation. The fuzzified characteristics are input into the fuzzy rules. Each rule produces a fuzzy output, which is then aggregated to form a comprehensive assessment. Defuzzification. The aggregated fuzzy output is defuzzified to obtain a crisp value that represents the overall quality of the EEG signal. Benefits for EEG data analysis. Handling uncertainty. Fuzzy logic can effectively manage the inherent uncertainty and variability in EEG data. Flexibility. The system can be easily adjusted by modifying the membership functions and rules to accommodate different types of EEG data and analysis requirements. Interpretability. The rules and membership functions provide a transparent way to understand how the system evaluates the signal quality. In summary, the fuzzy logic algorithm enhances EEG data analysis by providing a structured yet flexible method for assessing signal quality based on multiple characteristics. It manages the uncertainty and imprecision typical of EEG data, ensuring robust and interpretable analysis outcomes. Okay, so we have more prompts uh, for it. This is just a general overview. So we are using Plotly for this, we need a folder and file structure. And let's check which quickly check this. This looks legit. And let's see what it will do. The thing about the general stuff is that we actually can create the Python code that will, uh, well, do it all in in-house uh, just python alone should we do it or not i uh, wonder when we'll start uh, developing just ask for more so what uh, 
libraries it's going for let's make sure it's uh, using sk fuzzy uh, okay what library are you going to use for the fuzzy logic analysis itself okay it's actually going for it it's going for it so it's scikit fuzzy and sk fuzzy are different things aren't they are a scikit fuzzy and the sk fuzzy same or different right it's the same library okay can you regenerate the file and folder structure again well i said regenerate and then okay it's the same one just update it quickly no it's literally the same yeah now it's good <laughs> didn't ask for code but it's going for it shall we let it continue so we already have a my app yeah you can use text alone to describe the code and how this application will look like in uh, using text alone uh, don't generate or include any code okay can you just uh, describe the application in uh, general terms uh, using continuous sentences and paragraphs this web application is designed to generate and analyze synthetic eeg data using fuzzy logic the application is built with flask a lightweight web framework for python which serves as the back end the back end code handles the generation of synthetic eeg data processes the data and performs fuzzy logic analysis to evaluate the quality of the signal when a user accesses the web application they are presented with a clean and intuitive interface the main web page, served by Flask, displays a dynamic chart that visualizes the EEG data. This visualization is powered by a client-side JavaScript library that fetches data from the server and updates the chart in real time. The layout and appearance of the web page are styled using CSS to ensure a user-friendly experience. The application generates synthetic EEG data by simulating signal patterns adding random noise, and incorporating periodic disturbances to mimic real EEG signals. This data is then processed using fuzzy logic, a method that deals with reasoning that is approximate rather than fixed and exact. Fuzzy logic is particularly useful for handling the inherent uncertainty and variability in EEG data. To analyze the EEG data, the application defines several characteristics of the signal, such as amplitude, frequency, and noise level. These characteristics are evaluated using fuzzy membership functions, which classify the data into different categories like low, medium, and high. Based on these classifications, the application uses a set of predefined fuzzy rules to infer the overall quality of the EEG signal. The results of the fuzzy logic analysis are then displayed on the web page. Users can interact with the application by scrolling through the EEG data and triggering the analysis process. The application dynamically updates the visualization and displays the signal quality assessment, providing users with immediate feedback on the data they are viewing. Overall, this web application combines robust back-end processing with an interactive front-end to deliver a comprehensive tool for generating and analyzing EEG data. The use of fuzzy logic allows for sophisticated data analysis that can handle the complexities of EEG signals, making this application a valuable resource for anyone interested in biomedical data processing. The EMG piece. Okay, so this synthetic EEG generates synthetic EEG data with periodic EMG artifacts. Okay, we have uh, three fuzzy variables are defined, amplitude frequency and artifact risk. A membership functions oops okay i sent it by mistake that's okay yeah there's no emg in the description description of the application's functionality with specifics on fuzzy logic this web application focuses on generating synthetic EEG data and analyzing it using fuzzy logic to assess signal quality, particularly focusing on the risk of artifacts. The core of the application is built using Flask, a lightweight web framework for Python, which manages the backend processes. Backend functionality. 
Synthetic EEG Data Generation. The application includes a function, Generate Synthetic EEG, which creates synthetic EEG data. This function simulates realistic EEG signals by generating sine waves and adding random noise. Additionally, it incorporates periodic EMG electromyography artifacts to mimic real-world disturbances often seen in EEG data. These artifacts are introduced at regular intervals to simulate muscle movements or other sources of interference. Fuzzy logic analysis. To evaluate the synthetic EEG data, the application employs fuzzy logic. Three fuzzy variables are defined for this purpose. One, amplitude, represents the signal strength or the peak value of the EEG signal. Two, frequency, indicates the rate at which the signal oscillates. Three, artifact risk, assesses the likelihood of the presence of artifacts in the signal. Okay, okay so in, the, in text alone, can you explain how the code should be updated? Okay, that looks legit. Updating the code, overview and steps. One, generating synthetic EEG data with periodic EMG artifacts. Function update. The generate synthetic EEG function should be updated to include the generation of synthetic EEG data with periodic EMG artifacts. This involves simulating a base EEG signal, typically using sine waves, adding random noise to the signal to mimic natural EEG variations, introducing periodic EMG artifacts at regular intervals to simulate muscle movement interference. Okay, which part of the code uh, meant to be regenerated and updated? Parts of the code to be updated and regenerated. One, synthetic data generation function, current focus. Enhance the generate synthetic EEG function to include periodic EMG artifacts. The function should simulate a base EEG signal, add random noise, and introduce periodic disturbances to mimic real world EMG artifacts. Steps, update the function to simulate a sine wave for the base EEG signal. Add a noise component to the signal. Introduce periodic high amplitude, short duration spikes to simulate EMG artifacts. Two, defining fuzzy variables and membership functions. Current focus. Define the fuzzy variables amplitude, frequency, and artifact risk, and create trapezoidal membership functions for each variable. Steps. Create trapezoidal membership functions for amplitude to categorize it as low, medium, and high. Similarly, define trapezoidal membership functions for frequency, slow, moderate, fast, and artifact risk, low, moderate, high. Next three, implementing fuzzy rules. Current focus. Formulate fuzzy rules to infer signal quality based on the fuzzy variables. Steps. Create rules that combine the fuzzy variables to produce an assessment of signal quality. For instance, if amplitude is medium, frequency is moderate, and artifact risk is low, then signal quality is good. If amplitude is high, frequency is low, and artifact risk is high, then signal quality is poor. Add additional rules to cover other combinations of the fuzzy variables. Four, fuzzy inference system and defuzzification. Current focus. Set up the fuzzy inference system to process the input values and generate a final signal quality assessment. Then convert this fuzzy output into a crisp value using defuzzification. Steps, implement the fuzzy inference system to evaluate the input values, amplitude, frequency, artifact risk using the defined rules. Aggregate the outputs from all the rules to produce an overall fuzzy assessment. Apply defuzzification to convert the fuzzy result into a crisp signal quality value. Five, updating front-end integration. Current focus. Modify the front-end JavaScript and HTML to fetch the updated EEG data with periodic EMG artifacts, display it accurately, and interact with the new fuzzy logic analysis results. Steps. Update the JavaScript to fetch the synthetic EEG data with the enhanced characteristics. Adjust the charting logic to display the new data accurately. Ensure the interface displays the results of the fuzzy logic analysis, including the assessed signal quality and artifact risk. Handle user interactions, such as generating data and running analysis, ensuring smooth operation with the updated backend functionality. Hash summary of code parts to be updated. One, synthetic data generation. Enhance the generate Okay, okay, and how is the how's this web application interactive? Hey, can you provide a quick uh, summary? The web application is highly interactive, allowing users to engage with EEGG data generation and analysis dynamically. It features a dynamic chart for real-time visualization of EEG signals, 
buttons for generating and analyzing data, and real-time feedback displaying signal quality and artifact risk. The front end uses AJAX requests to communicate with the back end, ensuring seamless data fetching and analysis without page reloads. Users can interact with the EEG signal by zooming, panning, and highlighting sections on the chart. The application is responsive, working well on various devices. This interactivity provides a smooth and engaging user experience for exploring and understanding EEG data. Hey, can you explain again how the data will be generated or regenerated by the user? Can you always use continuous text, full sentences, whole paragraphs? How the data will be generated by the user. When a user interacts with the web application, they will initiate the data generation process by clicking a button labeled Generate Data on the interface. This action sends an AJAX request from the front end to the back end, specifically to the Flask server handling the application. The back end receives this request and triggers the Generate Synthetic EEG function, which is responsible for creating synthetic EEG data with defined characteristics. The Generate Synthetic EEG function begins by simulating a base EEG signal using sine wave patterns. This simulation reflects the typical oscillatory nature of real EEG data. To add a layer of realism, random noise is incorporated into the signal, mimicking the natural variability found in actual EEG recordings. In addition to the base signal and noise, the function introduces periodic EMG artifacts. These artifacts are higher amplitude, short duration spikes that occur at regular intervals, representing muscle movements or other disturbances commonly seen in EEG data. Once the synthetic EEG data, including the base signal, noise, and EMG artifacts is generated, it is sent back to the front end as a response to the AJAX request. The front end then updates the dynamic chart to display the new EEG signal in real time, providing immediate visual feedback to the user. After generating the synthetic data, the user has the option to analyze it by clicking another button labeled Analyze Data. This action sends the displayed EEG data from the front end to the back end through another AJAX request. The back end processes this data using fuzzy logic analysis functions. It evaluates the amplitude, frequency, and artifact risk of the signal, applying predefined fuzzy rules to infer the overall signal quality. The analysis results, including the assessed signal quality and artifact risk, are then sent back to the front end. Finally, the front end displays the analysis results next to the dynamic chart. This provides the user with insights into the quality of the generated EEG signal and the presence of artifacts, all in real time. This interactive process allows users to engage dynamically with the application, exploring and understanding EEG data effectively through a user-friendly interface. Debugging and fixing the code. The error you're encountering indicates that the fuzzy logic system cannot compute a crisp output because the total area for defuzzification is zero. This typically means that none of the rules are being activated based on the provided inputs. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to fix this issue. One, check input ranges. Ensure that the input values for amplitude, frequency, and artifact risk fall within the ranges defined by their respective membership functions. Resolving undefined signal quality output. The message signal quality undefined check input values indicates that the fuzzy logic system could not produce a valid output. This can happen if the input values do not activate any rules or if the input values are outside the expected ranges. Here are steps to further debug and resolve the issue. One, check input value calculation. Ensure that the calculations for amplitude val frequency val, and artifact risk val are correct, and debugging sparse fuzzy logic system. The error, crisp output cannot be calculated, likely because the system is too sparse, means that the provided input values do not activate any rules in the fuzzy logic system. Let's review and adjust the rules and membership functions to ensure the input values can trigger at least one rule. Steps to fix the issue. One. Expand the membership functions. Ensure that the membership functions cover all possible ranges of the input values. Two, add more fuzzy rules. Increase the number of fuzzy rules to cover a broader range of possible input combinations. Three, adjust membership function ranges. Ensure that the input values fall within the range where membership functions are defined. Updated code app.py. Python from Flask, import Flask, render template, JSONify. 
request import numpy as np import sk fuzzy as fuzz import scifuzzy.control as control app equals flask our name mock generate synthetic eeg data with periodic emg artifacts def generate synthetic eeg time equals N further adjustments to ensure proper fuzzy logic evaluation the issue persists indicating that the current fuzzy rules and membership functions may still be too sparse Let's address this by further expanding the rules and adjusting the membership functions to ensure that all possible input combinations activate at least one rule. Steps to fix the issue. One, expand the membership functions. Ensure the membership functions cover more ranges and overlap slightly to capture all input values. Also, is uh, what meant to happen every time I hit the analyze signal button? Should it be generating a new signal as well, or are we missing another generate signal button? Even with the current signal not changing, I get a different results. Also, can we display everything necessary on the front page as well? 